So I just made a video on how to create and upload a custom thumbnail to a YouTube video. And ironically, as I'm going through my video channel here, I realized I didn't make a, a custom thumbnail for this video. So uh, I'm in my video manager. So I'm just going to click on edit to get in there. My computer's pretty slow. It's old and tired and overworked just like me no <laughs> um, so as you can see it's still loading but here's thumbnails that YouTube picked out for the video that I'm not sure how it works but you know they uh, pick out not they I don't it's not a human doing it but YouTube takes uh, screenshots that you might want to use and uh, creates little thumbnails for you but I like to make my own custom ones so I have a, a standardized look for my channel so here I went into Photoshop and I have my my new YouTube tutorials so I'm going to save this file and just remember it's 1280 wide by 720 high and I have a folder where I save all my uh, thumbnails to I just think this is a really good way to um, to standardize your channel, the the appearance of it. Because as you can see, let's see, custom thumbnail two. I don't know if it's two, whatever. Um, it just it just makes your your channel look very clean and and I like putting the subjects in there so it's very easy for people to look at it and say okay this is exactly what it's about so I'm in my edit uh, video area and click on custom thumbnail and I know this one's going to be at the very end so there it is see you can see all of my different all the different colors like you know these are for Photoshop because they're that royal blue I'm trying to use colors that match uh, whatever program or um, website it is Twitter has another blue Facebook has another blue um, oh there's one I tried to do green for Excel it just looked weird so that's why Excel is yellow um, but and YouTube has a red logo so although it's brighter than that but the brighter red doesn't look as good you you just you want to be very vigilant about what looks good and what doesn't so there we go I have it right there and we'll click on save changes and it's saved so I can go back to my video manager and it hasn't uploaded yet it takes a little time that's why I like to do it when I upload the video but uh, you know if if you don't maybe you decide down the line oh hey that's something I want to do that's how you do it it's it's pretty simple it just takes a little time um, but it should show up eventually um, like within an hour or so I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog at sallyu.com and have a wonderful day. Thank